Okay, so we have OS2 Linux. So we're finishing up week 13. We've got two weeks left. Course items. Um, their individual, your individual machines are not up. And we're not going to bring them back up this term anymore. We have plenty of other things to do. We have access to Work Server 2. You have access to the Fedora machine. The uh, Fedora machine here, and I made some updates on actually on Thursday. Made some updates on Thursday, so you should you should be able to create your backup and copy it from your work server to to the Fedora machine. Um, an FYI, work server work server three is up. So. <clears throat> that is also available for some work, but now that we switched over, we're going to do this. So let me know, you know, you should let me know if you have any issues. <clears throat> and we'll talk about skills next week. <clears throat> so then we moved into this idea of cloud services. We've spent a lot of time covering all kinds of of services we can produce off of our Linux machine, you know, users, web, um, database, and all those things. Those same services exist out in the cloud, <clears throat> and there's a variety of ways of accessing that and using cloud services. So we have infrastructure as a service where they're just going to allow you to put your equipment there and use their infrastructure. <clears throat> We have platform as a service where you can set up your your own virtual machines, VMs, and do all the work, you know, primarily yourself, <clears throat> but they supply the platform to run the, the equipment on. It's kind of a, it's kind of a, you know, sometimes it's hard to draw the line between these two. Um, same thing here. But in here, most most of the services are uh, supplied. You know, the the infrastructure, the platform that's running on, and the software you're running on the platform. So they supply all the services, and then you just apply those to your business company or whatever. Um, we talked about some of the services like SQL and database. You, they can supply. You can supply a website. We will look at um, hopefully both of those. Okay. There are clouds that are public. Okay. Um, we talk a lot about Work Server Two. Your access to that. It's sort of our, you know. It's not totally, you know, available to anybody. You gotta have a login and those things, but you have access to it. Then, <clears throat> in our groups, we use Jitsi.org to communicate, and we had groups. So let me use a different color here. So we had groups. We had Chris Wilson led the Assur group. Sam led the Google group. And David led the AWS group. And so the people who did the research on those joined in, at least they're supposed to, join in with those groups and they discussed those cloud services. We'll talk about those more actually on Monday. Next step. Okay, so, whoops. This is a repeat. Okay. So we'll move on. Yeah, here we go. So <clears throat> after they came back um, from their you know, groups, I um, I talked a little bit about our AW, my AWS account. 
and we talked about AWS Educate. First of all, I did you know, a little example of this is a public IP. Um, eventually, I could tie a domain name with it, but currently we have a web. I have a website. A website at that location, and the website is running WordPress. It's a um, it's software that helps you create websites. It's used a lot, by the way. It's, it's one of the more popular ones. And there are a lot of options out there. And everything from free to where you spend some money for them. <clears throat> so what we'd like students to do is sign up for AWS Educate. And you can sign up. And most of the students, after they sign up, they have to verify. They have to verify that they're students, so then you have to follow up with an email or whatever. But everybody I've talked to have gotten signed in. They've gotten signed up. Okay. So <clears throat> we're going to do that. There is an option for a year of the free tier. You can run that, you know, a certain limited number of services for a year for free. So it's something you will consider after we get through a certain level of knowledge so that you can make the most use of your free year. So then, let me uh, add a page and so we're going to do cloud services moving forward, and we are going to use AWS AWS platform for our cloud services. And, and there are just lots of services available here, but we'll, we'll talk a little bit about security. We'll talk about billing. Because with the Educate, you get, you know, I think $100 of free um, usage. So once you reach the $100, then your free goes away. And then you can start the free tier if you want to do that. Um, we're going to talk about compute. Set up, you know, a VM there. We'll talk about compute. Uh, storage. And possibly, yeah, web, or at least some things in it. Um, in the security, we'll talk about access. Hopefully, then, those are the main things. And then also this uh, virtual private cloud. If we get far enough, we'll, if at the very minimum, demonstrate that. That's it.